The rats, the rats have to show us if you find a mine by scratching. Uh, this scratching is the signal that we told you at the earlier stage that wherever they get the smell of TNT, the smell of mine should be scratched with uh, three seconds up to five seconds. So, so the rat to be good in detection mine should be uh, faster learning but also uh, accuracy in detecting. For example, this rat is always detecting 100%. So you can say that, that this rat is good. Every day morning from Monday to Friday, we bring the rats uh, at training field. They are normally working uh, up to 9.30s where we bring back to the sleeping cage where they sleep a bit for two hours. Normally we have uh, free playing where we're just putting in the cage and we leave them there for playing for 15 minutes. But also we have long leash where we also practicing working with them. People in Tanzania were thinking that the rat is so destructive and is a uh, animal that we should keep it away from the, the, the people. But now they hear Apopo is uh, training the rat to detect landmine as well as tuberculosis. So now the people, uh, they don't even hate the rat because now they know that they are saving human life. For myself, uh, I'm feeling very comfortable with the rat because uh, these rats, they are so hero. They are saving human life, you know, and we are working like a friend. So myself, I like, I like this animal very much. Driverless cars are coming to the streets of Britain, or at least to the pavements of Milton Keynes. This is one of three public trials of autonomous vehicles as developers start to turn their prototypes into the driverless cars of the future.